The story goes that the god Poseidon gives King Minos a white bull as a gift. He then curses the queen to fall in love with it. She gives birth to a mutant baby, half boy, half bull, and tries to nurse the child herself, but she soon discovers he's cursed. A monster that can only eat human flesh. The king is so angry, he imprisons the beast in a huge labyrinth, a giant maze so large and complex that no one can ever find their way out. There's another story throughout Greek mythology of humans having sex with animals. This does not suggest that copulation with bulls was part of the everyday life of Minoans. I think it was a curiosity that is explored in myth so that it doesn't have to be explored in real life. But what real event could have inspired the tale of a bovine monster here at Knossos? What did the ancient Greeks see? Archaeologist Alexander McGillivray investigates. There's evidence for bull iconography all over this building. This is a plan of the palace. There is this bull's head. Across the central court, there were fragments of these Minoan horns of consecration. The great charging, bellowing bull that we have in the north entrance passage that greets you on the way in. Think of the impression that would make on people coming in from all over Crete and even from overseas. Bulls clearly had incredible status here. But did the Minoans include them in a ritual that involved human sacrifice? At the heart of the palace, Alexander uncovers more clues. The whole architecture of this building looks into this court. This is really what defines the palace. This central plaza stands out at Knossos. It's huge and is the only area here left empty. Was this the location of a spectacular but deadly bovine ritual? So you've got buildings around it on all sides. You could have people gazing down into the court. So whatever happened in this court was hugely important. The remains of a palace mural could provide the answer. Some experts believe this could be evidence that people were indeed killed by bulls here in a dramatic event. This is part of a much, much larger composition that would have covered something like that whole space up there. Piecing together the remaining fragments gives an incredible insight into the event. When researchers unearthed this ancient megastructure, they found hundreds of fragments of painted plaster, creating a huge puzzle nearly 3,500 years old. Together, they reveal the figure of a mighty charging bull Around it, three Minoan figures, one grabbing the bull's horns, one somersaulting over its back, and one to catch the person jumping. Five of these paintings were found, forming a giant billboard of what could be an extreme ancient ritual. Bull leaping, one wrong move, and you could be killed. What we see from the paintings is that bull leaping would have taken place right here. They probably led the bulls up the ramp here in the north entrance passage and um, leaped over the bulls right here with everybody watching. This ritual could have inspired the idea of bulls as killers at Knossos. Leaping over the bull is like, if you make it, you've survived this incredible feat. It's like overcoming your fear of death. What I continue to find so fascinating about the myth of the Minotaur is that we still have the same features in rituals today. For example, in the running of the bulls at Pamplona, we see the same motifs. Humans putting themselves in the way of danger, using bulls to show strength. The Minotaur is still around in different forms today. But not all bulls here were like the beasts of today. 
Alexander believes some were supersized monsters. A palace room destroyed 3,500 years ago provides the evidence. These blocks had been hurled by a massive earthquake right off the south facade of the palace. After the earthquake, the Minoans went back into the room and placed these two massive bull skulls as a part of an offering. Examining X-ray images of the skulls reveals these were indeed no ordinary creatures. You can see the bull's head, great long head, and they were placed, they were severed from the body and they were placed intentionally in the corner of the room. If you look at this detail of the horns, you'll see that, in fact, they're, they're huge. These are from uh, very, very large animals, much bigger than you would expect from uh, regular domestic cattle. But just how large and powerful were these beasts? Comparative anatomist Dr. Joy Reidenberg dissects and studies the biggest creatures in the animal kingdom. Today, she investigates the real-world origins of mythical monsters. Joy believes these skulls are from a giant ancient species called an auroch. This is a photo of an auroch skull. These are the types of skulls that were in the palace. And this is actually a reduced picture. If, if I were to measure the skull end to end like this, it would in reality be about this big, almost as wide as I could reach. You can imagine, that is a huge head. I mean, we're starting to approach dinosaur size now. These extinct super bulls were on a completely different scale from cattle of today. So this is a skull of a modern bull. And it has horns, but they're not nearly as big as what you see in the auroch. And this part of the bone that supports the horns is a lot smaller than what you would see on an auroch. And if we look at the back, this is where the neck muscles attach. And this is pretty massive on a bull, but this is much bigger in the auroch, which means the aurochs had huge necks to hold up those really big heads. Reconstructing the full scale of this beast reveals it was truly behemoth. Let's compare a human skull to an auroch skull. If we put one of these here, this is enormous compared to a human head. I would run the other way, because these animals were actually quite aggressive. They were found all over Greece and Crete in the wild, and so the Minoans would have been very familiar with these animals. Evidence for a towering bull creature living on this island is beginning to stack up. Based on the size of the skulls that were found at the site, estimates are that they were probably between 1,500 and 3,000 pounds, and probably more than seven feet in height. That would be a terrifying sight to see. Aurochs died out nearly 400 years ago, but these beasts were common in ancient Greece and Crete. There may actually be some truth behind this legend. Most legends really start with a little fact that is true. Giant bulls clearly had extraordinary status at Knossos but was an even bigger one imprisoned somewhere in this palace. To find out, experts now hunt for evidence of the giant labyrinth, said to be the Minotaur's home. The clue to its location is in the myth. <laughs> 